it's it's wonderful because you know, there's a billion Catholics in the world, but probably less than 1% ever get a chance to see a live Pope. A group of 17 is heading off to Philadelphia to see the Holy One. I do hope to just see his personality uh, in person because he's so warm and loving. I think it'll be easy to pick, pick up on that. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. It's the first time I've ever seen a Pope live and in person, so I'm tickled to death. I'm so excited about it. The ladies say they aren't sure what to expect, but they're open for anything. The thing I worried about the most would be eating. <laughs> would I get, be able to find a place to eat? <laughs> Others say they're hoping to gain a stronger connection to God through their spiritual leader. It's almost like a religious experience for me. It is, it's, um, I can't wait just to um, experience the Mass with him and the Papal Mass. And it's just a, it's a, it's a privilege. This trip is extra special for Father Greg because he's part of the Concelebrant Mass. Priests from um, all over the world will be joining him for the, uh, the celebration of Mass. He'll be the main celebrant and then we'll also be joining with him. Father Greg says even though 17 are traveling to the Keystone State, the Delta is in his heart. We're going to lift everyone uh, in the Delta in prayer. I mean, this isn't just an event for Catholics, it's for all Christians. and. Uh, we're excited, so uh, just let everybody know we're praying for them. The group hopes to return to Greenwood by Monday with many stories and memories to share with everyone. In the studio, Denise Turner, your Delta News.